So here's a view of the four wire thermostat and if you have this system where you only have four wires up to your thermostat you'll have to use the power extender kit and that's what I'm going to show you today how to install that in your uh, at your HVAC so that you can use the Ecobee Smart SI. So as they advise and as I guess I usually do is turn off the power to the uh, furnace. And you see my furnace is uh, number 22. I don't know if you can see that. But this is number 22. And uh, actually the, the big breaker underneath is for the AC. But I'm just going to turn them both off. And that should turn off all the power to that system. But we'll be checking that just in case. Okay, so here is the power extender kit. It uh, basically comes with this. This is the main part of it, and that's the cover. Um, and the instructions seem pretty good. I guess we'll see after I install it. Uh, but what you're going to have to do is uh, get into your HVAC system here. This one's in the basement of my house. And... Uh, we're going to open this door here and see what kind of uh, wiring we have. Okay, once you remove the cover, uh, and I, what I've done is just pulled, a, pulled out a bunch of these wires. They weren't coiled up properly to get to uh, what we wanted to see. And you're going to see that there's a... Try to get some good light on that. You're going to see that there's the, the thermostat wires... Oh, uh, let's see, that's not necessary. You have four, or I have four thermostat wires, and you probably will have these four. But you also see a blue wire here, and that, that is listed under the, the C, the common wire that we're looking for. Uh, well, it actually came off. Okay. Um, so anyway, that goes there. This wire is going out to your air conditioner. So... You only have one wire so you want to trace this uh, thermostat wire just just be sure you're, you're using the right wires that you tap into so we've got two coming in here um, a lighter brown one and a darker brown one the lighter brown one in my case is the one we're looking at and it goes up and up into the uh, and I know that it's going up to where the thermostat is so just follow that wire. The other one should be going out with this, this darker brown wire is going out to your AC if you have something similar. So if we trace that in, this is the wire that these, this four wire system here is what we're looking at. And I'm just looking now to decide where to mount this device. Um, but essentially four wires are going to go in. Uh, or five wires are going to go in, four come out, and um, because we're going to tap into that blue uh, common area here to get uh, the wire we want. And uh, so I'll be back in one second. Okay, I've discovered something on my system, since it's a, a very new system, it's about three years old, that. Um, may be of interest to people um, and it and it in fact it changes everything because I'm not going to be installing this uh, power extender uh, at least not right now to see if this other idea works but um, as you can see here and you may want to look at yours I have like six or eight wires in this thermostat wire uh, going up there and I, and I have a blue wire um, and you need the blue or the common wire up there so you need five wires at your thermostat so when I went upstairs to take my thermostat my old thermostat apart I realized that the wires were were in the wall I mean they're all in this group of uh, I don't know how many you know six maybe six or seven or eight wires in the system so if you have that you may be lucky like me and just be able to 
hook up the blue wire here to the common uh, so you're sending the 24 volts that the thermostat needs up and uh, in that case that would eliminate the need for the power extender kit. Uh, I'm going to try that and if that works uh, I'll go ahead and publish this video anyway just to give you, uh, hopefully it will help you. If you do have to install the kit it, it looks pretty straightforward uh, once I'm in here. Um, you have an equipment side and a, and a thermostat side for this uh, module. And so really if you just follow the directions here with the, um, they should have came with the kit. And you'll just plug in these wires, these four wires, into uh, the equipment side of the kit. And you'll add, you know, you're going to have to add a common wire if you don't have that in your cable. And then coming out of the kit, you'll you'll put put your four wires in, but I think you trade the white wire, um, you, you wire it to the common output of, the, of this extender. And then when you go upstairs, or when you go to your thermostat, you'll add the, uh, the diode, just right where it says, uh, you know, on your installation, you just add this part in, it's, it's a diode, and what it's doing is, uh, splitting out the power and still giving you the signals you need so you're actually just coupling a power with another cable um, so you put one the, the white wire I believe uh, into this end of the diode and then the two um, wires coming out I'm um, sorry it's not the white wire I think it's the yellow, the yellow wire. But follow the directions. It's it. It looked a little overwhelming to me when I first saw it, but I decided uh, it's really not that bad. But if I don't need it, I'm not going to use it. So we'll see if I need it or not. Okay, so here it just shows the wiring that I did, uh, and there's the blue common wire. The rest of them are just standard, uh, and. Uh, now we'll see when we test it if it works. Okay, here we have it. Um, it looks like it is working. I haven't went to uh, set it up on the internet. But uh, there it just switched to, I guess, the standard screen. Um, so, I guess that works. If you have the wires in the wall, the best way to go is to use those and uh, not use the power extender. I'm not sure what I'll do with that now, but uh, hopefully this helps somebody. Thanks for watching.